So do you see all of that milk that comes out? Welcome back to a, another vlog. So I am walking out right now to the pasture, the horse pasture that used to be the cow pasture. And it's so interesting seeing the horses over here. It's kind of different and fun. I don't know, but look at these guys. Meeting of the minds over there by my chicken coop. Wonder what they're doing over there. Let's go find out. What are you guys doing over here? Yeah, everybody run away like you weren't doing anything that you shouldn't have been. Lulu! Um, Cash, please stop running into me. Hi, Lulu. Why are you guys all up in my face? Do you guys like it over here? Seems like it. You guys came barreling over to me, though. Miss Dinky, she's coming. So they all have, like, seem to be really liking it over here. Hi, guys. I'm sorry, you can't have these peppermints because I don't think goats are allowed to have peppermints. One peppermint for you. I typically don't like to give them these hard candy peppermints, but... I gave them one the other day and they loved it. And now they keep bugging me for my peppermints. <laughs> Leave me alone. Blaze, you want a peppermint? You go have a peppermint. It's so funny to smell. <laughs> Super weird, but to smell their breath after you give them a peppermint, it literally smells like peppermints. Come here. Oh my gosh, it smells like a peppermint. Now we just need to give Dinky one because she feels left out. Hey, hey, hey. No fighting. Quit. Oh, it was like a trio of people biting each other. They're not even people. Cash bit Dinky, Dinky bit the goat. It was a misunderstanding. Whoa, oh, I don't want to be involved. Hey, be nice. <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah. Oh, peppermint. Sorry, Dinky. I thought I was being attacked. Oh, oh, no. They dropped the peppermint. Stop. Stop. You guys are like brother and sister being so rude to each other. Here. Do you want the peppermint or not? Stop. Leave her alone. Dinky's going to get mad at you. I'm going to let Dinky get mad at you. <laughs> Dinky! Stop following me like that. Are you mad at me? I can't tell if she's mad at me or mad at him or him or him. I don't know. She's just blazing with these ears. Maybe she's mad at the flies. Okay, they're mad at each other. <laughs> I'm in the wrong spot right now. Cool. So we finally let out our juvenile chicks. I don't know where the other one is right now, but here's this one. I wonder where the other one is. There's one, maybe it's inside the coop. There's the other one, hanging out in the coop. Franny, how weird. Are you going to bed today in the coop? Because it seems quite strange that you're in here and it's actually early. Not sure why you would be in here already. Because she literally never sleeps in here anyways and then is deciding to go up earlier, okay. Anyways, it's quite interesting. Pash is so nosy. He keeps trying to get in this chicken coop with me. And he's just so rude, I swear. This pasture has made him so rude over here. He just doesn't understand how rude he actually is. Okay, enough, please. It is an adjustment them being by the chicken coop all the time. I'm not really sure how I feel about that, but it is what it is, this isn't permanent. The plan is to get them to go over to the other front pasture when it's rainy season, which is coming up soon. My little posse is behind me, which is super surprising. Because it's literally Louie. What would you like, Louie? You're being very in my pocket today. It's because I have peppermints. You like those peppermints. Everyone is around me right now. Even Miss Pinnell. These two will go at it all day long. Cash is always over here talking to his pig friends. But in my last video, when the pigs escaped, I'm happy to report they haven't escaped again. But a lot of you guys were asking where Mr. Pig was because in the very beginning, he was actually standing right here when I first walked over here. But when I showed the overview of all the pigs at the end, he was actually in the enclosure. He doesn't really have any care to like escape. But here's Mr. Pig. Don't worry, nothing happened to him. He's here. I just realized at the end clip when I was showing them all, he wasn't in the camera view. But here's everyone. We've got Mr. Pig, Muffin, Cookie, Chippy, you two are tired, huh? Sleepy pigs. And then we have Waffle and Pancake and Stewie. So everyone's here, everyone's accounted for. No one has escaped lately, luckily. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Your little nose, you were probably the big accomplice on this, Stewie. So I was on my way to the barn because we're gonna clean stalls and then do the switch around of the horses because I wanna show you guys that, like our little night routine. I actually wanna do a full night routine lately because things have changed. They always change. But anyways, I wanted to stop at the pond because I wanted to show you we've done a little bit of like 
um, improvements. The sun is in my face. We've done a little bit of improvements to the pond, but I saw a ton of you guys' comments um, asking if we we're gonna put fish in it and plants and XYZ and all that. And when I showed you that video, that was like literally the first step of was just like getting the hole dug completely. So we haven't really thought that far ahead. So keep in mind, that was literally like the day and the second day that the pond was like completely finished. So we have so much left to do to this pond. So you guys will see that and I hear you guys, you guys want me to keep you guys in the loop about the pond and I will, but I don't know what we're doing with the pond yet. So keep that in mind. But for now, here's the pond. So Mike took the skid steer and he made all the edges less steep. So the horses, when they wanna walk in it, can walk in it and they won't break their legs or not be able to get out. So um, he's gonna do a little bit more to it as well but for now it's like so much better the ducks are able to get in here a lot better and oh here they are miss butter is of course making her presence very known oh my gosh where are you going you look deranged she really does her motherhood has been really tough on her but alfred is by her side through it all a great companion we have another broody hen, Petrolina, gas station chicken, it's forever broody. Enough, Mrs. Butters. So this is kind of like the weirdest thing. So we know that Mrs. Butters has been broody and I just came over to give them food. So I gave them their food and then I went to go refill their water. And then I was like, oh, let me check on the nest because the nest is right here. And I'm so confused because there's nothing in the nest. There's no eggs. So I am so confused because there were so many eggs in here. And if she moved them, it probably took her a long time to move all these eggs, but I don't see a single egg. So I am on a hunt for these eggs. But to continue the saga of egg hunt, I was looking around for the eggs, seeing you know where she could have possibly moved so many eggs and it couldn't have been very far. So I come over here and I look underneath the um, spreader our old manure spreader and these are not duck eggs though these are chicken eggs so I found another nest but it has nothing to do with the ducks I still don't know where the duck eggs are but I don't know I don't know where her duck eggs went we close up the coop every night and keep it open during the day so I have like this strange thought that maybe like a snake could have eaten the eggs I don't know if that's far out because there's literally eggs all over this property like why didn't they just eat the eggs that were underneath the manure spreader and those eggs are a lot fresher I feel like a lot of those duck eggs were like rotting because they've been in there for so long. So unless she's like preparing to hatch out a bunch of ducklings, I don't know where she put her eggs. And I'm on a search now to find like 11 duck eggs. I don't even know where she would have put them because I haven't seen her going anywhere else. And I'm not really here during the day all the time to watch her and try to find her where her duck eggs are. But now that I know I'm on a mission to find her and I will find her during the day and I will find her duck eggs. Okay, so I'm back over here with the horses because this is where the real fun comes in. Because now that we've been doing this for a couple days, Willie's just deciding to get a little neck scratchies. Now that we've, I shouldn't even say a couple days. Louie! Louie! Oh my gosh, I call him Louie. I mean Louie. He's really distracting me as you can see. He's back there being goofy. Willie! What are you doing? Anyways, he's just giving them all the scratchies. Now that we've been doing this for over a week now, we've kind of got a routine of what we do to make this work out the best way. So we're gonna release these guys in anticipation that they run to the barn. Uh-oh, Louie's getting left behind because he's using the potty. <laughs> we'll see, he'll run so fast. They've kind of are understanding now the concept of just walking to the barn, very food motivated. This one over here has to stop. Chit chat with the pig. Now Louie's like, oh no, my friends, my friends, where are my friends? <laughs> but they're pretty good about it. In the first couple days of us doing this, they were super crazy, but obviously you can see they're just walking normal. Louie went crazy because he was left behind, but kind of not as dramatic anymore. There they go. They just know that the food is in that barn. So they're motivated now to beeline for the barn. Miss Dinky, slow as ever. She's like, I don't care. They won't forget me. While we're in the barn here, we're about to let them out and I'll show you how that goes. But 
June and her eye update still hates getting her medicine, but not as much now because now Mike can do it on his own. So she is getting better about it. So that's a big improvement because before we had to tame this wild dragon to let us help her little eye. But as you can see, quit moving. Here, let me hold your head, Junie. Come here, come here. Look at her white dot. So she's hiding it from us right now. The dot is increasingly getting smaller, which is good. So it'll always have a white dot, but definitely not as big as that dot. It'll be like eventually, I don't know, you guys can't really tell, like that small. That was a bad representation of it. And it'll just be a little scar, but it still has a long way to go. Today it's irritating her a little bit. As you can see, it's a little puffy. But yeah, that's how it's going. So they're all eating now, but Trigger and June are done. We gave them grain first so that we can get them out. We try to do this before the sun goes down, but these two are also like understanding of the routine for the most part. Go on. Oh, you're so cute and pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys look, a spotting. There the little ducks are going down to the pond. <laughs> and Miss Junie B. So let's see if they'll be good little horses today. They're going right to the pond today. Mike's over there trying to whistle for him to get him to go over there. And the hay is already over there. So hopefully they will make their way. But this is kind of how it goes. Sometimes they know where to go. Well, they do know where to go. They just love to procrastinate, check things out, see if anything changes, which it's only been like a week, so nothing's really changed. They just, you know, micromanagers these two. They've got to make sure that nothing's changed. And there's June realizing, can't really see her, realizing that the pasture's open, there's hay. Trigger will run in a second, too. He's just having a potty break. And there he goes. He's got my hay. She's eating all of my hay. And typically we'll bring the pig food over with it, but we forgot. <laughs> Is that yummy, Trigger? I think he likes it over here. I really like seeing them over here in the morning. It's cute. Good boy. Junie Bee. <laughs> you enjoying your meal of grass? Your hair is a little wonky. The pigs are angry because they're like, where's my grain? They're very used to us dropping the horses off and giving them their feed. The pigs are happy once again, because they have grain. So I've come to the coop to check it out. These two little white birds are so smart. We have like full grown hens that we'll bring in here and roosters that won't even use the roosting bars. And these are juveniles. And here they are and you know i don't know what happened maybe franny got kicked out of the cool club because she is back in the coop so <laughs> along with our chicken that always is in the coop so yeah this is all we've got today pulled mini out because i have something to show you guys so we've known that this can happen with her for actually pretty much the whole extent that we've had her but i just had this idea <laughs> and maybe my goat people that watch can give me some more insight on this but Minnie can actually be milked. So let me see if she'll, let me get around her. She's probably confused why she's out. <laughs> but let me see. Look at that. Like she has a pretty, like large, her udder is very large. Come here, Minnie. So we'll get another shot of that. And no, she's not pregnant or anything like that, but you can actually milk her. And I'll show you guys really quick, but I'm curious, my question after I show you guys, what you guys think for my goat people. So I can get a good shot of it. I'm gonna have Mike do it really quick. So do you see all of that milk that comes out? It's crazy. Okay. So now the question for all my goat people are a couple things because she's not bred. So if you know why she's producing milk, you can let me know. I kind of have a little bit of an idea in my own head. Secondly, does it provide her relief milking her like should I be milking her because I know that if she was bred and they didn't have like a baby on them necessarily that they would need that relief of getting milked that's my second question third question now again since she's not bred now this might be the stupidest question is that like the same milk as it would be if she was bred so like can I milk her and use it to make like goat's milk soap etc so if you guys know those answers, let me know because I'm very, very intrigued by that. So let me know. Miley and Daisy went to the groomer the other day and they look like different dogs. Miley is like a poodle right now. She's so fluffy, Gemma. We're not talking about you. 
Miley, though. She's just so fluffy, they really cut her pretty short, which I guess I don't really mind. I just think it's funny how much of a poodle she looks like. She's so fluffy, so soft, but it would be so nice for her, like, in the summertime, so... She's a different dog though now, but the real different dog is Miss Daisy. She literally looks like a puppy that's like old, but at the same time, her haircut is a little choppy looking to me, but they again, cut her pretty short and she just looks so cute. Show everyone your cute face, Daisy. Look at us with your cute bandana. I had to take Miley's bandana off because all the dogs pulled on her, but Daisy, they're a little bit nicer with. But she looks so cute, precious. It literally probably took like 10 to 20 pounds off of her, I swear. She had so much hair and she looks so cute. All right, you guys, as you can see, I'm back inside. I just finished with the barn. Boy, is summer coming. Look at my frizzy hair. I actually just took my extensions out, so it's a little different, but it's so frizzy. I've got an ice cold glass of water because the summertime is coming. It's still nice out, but like, you can definitely feel like it's a lot more humid. But anyways, that being said, if you guys liked watching today's vlog, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn those post notifications so you don't miss any videos like this. And also make sure that you leave a comment in the comments down below so that you have a chance to see my shout out. Today's shout out goes to... All right, you guys, we love you and we'll see you in the next one.